the massive 35 karat diamond engagement ring Mariah Carey received from Australian billionaire James Packer sets a new benchmark for Hollywood bling. How much does it cost? Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video we will discover Mariah Carey holds the world's most expensive engagement ring. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. The emerald cut diamond center stone in the ring, estimated to be worth $7.5 million, is more than twice the weight of the 17 carat emerald cut pink diamond she received from ex-husband Nick Cannon in 2008. Packer proposed to Kerry in New York City. The diamond, which is set in platinum and encircled by tapering baguettes, surpasses even the most famous celebrity engagement rings of all time. These include the 30 carat diamond Elizabeth Taylor received from Michael Todd in 1957, the 24 carat canary yellow diamond Paris Hilton accepted from Parrot Latsis in 2005, the 20.5 carat solitaire Kim Kardashian got from Chris Humphreys in 2011, 20 carat diamond Christina Aguilera received from Jordan Bratman in 2005, the 18 carat diamond Beyonce got from Jay-Z in 2007, and the 15 carat gem Kardashian accepted from Kanye West in 2013. And because we're talking about some of the world's largest celebrity rings, we'd be negligent if we didn't mention the late Richard Burton, who bought the 33.19 carat Krupp diamond in 1968 for his then wife Taylor. The Krupp wasn't an engagement ring, according to Burton, who purchased it because it was Tuesday. The Harry Winston ring cost Burton $305,000 and Taylor referred to it as her baby. The diamond was a relative bargain in retrospect, since the amount paid in 1968 was equal to $2.1 million in today's money. Wilfredo Rosado, a celebrity jeweler and longtime friend of Kerry's, claims he labored 12 hour days for two weeks to make Kerry's sparkler, a ring that would symbolize new beginnings. It took the standard super high and I wanted to create a ring that could not be measured up to. It was about mixing simplicity with volume, which is very difficult to do. It's an epic ring for an epic time in her life. According to reports, the designer considered the singer's own likes as well as Packer's precise wishes. To give the ring a balanced look, he picked tapering baguettes to offset the enormous emerald cut center stone. Julia Roberts, Rihanna, and Olivia Wilde are among Rosado's high-profile customers. Packer, 48, is a businessman, investor, and philanthropist who was claimed to be Australia's fourth wealthiest man at that time. According to published sources, he and Kerry met approximately a year ago and have been inseparable ever since. In 2014, the ex-couple met for the first time, when bigwig Hollywood producer Brett Ratner brought Kerry to the 2014 premiere of action picture Hercules. The pop star and Packer met for the first time on the red carpet. On the Steve Harvey show earlier this year, Kerry revealed, We first met in Aspen. A couple of years ago, we were at the Hercules premiere. We were talking and laughing and people were getting mad at us and stuff like that. So we hit it off. On September 21st, 2015, the duo made their red carpet debut at the New York City premiere of The Intern, walking in front of the cameras with the media mogul's hand stroking Kerry's back. Kerry wasn't hesitant about sharing the spotlight with Packer in the months that followed, holding his hand during the grand opening of his new Studio City resort in Macau, China, last October. Kerry's ex, Cannon, observed her and Packer making headlines and gave them a thumbs up. In December, Cannon told Howard Stern that it was awesome to have found Packer, adding, As long as she's happy and my children are happy, I'm happy. We hang out all the time. The former couple is known for getting together for the sake of their children, and the four of them spent Thanksgiving together that year. Even though Packer had skipped out, Cannon informed Stern that he wanted him to be there. What's most important is that they're doing it right when it comes to their kids, a source tells people. What star couple do you know that still spends every holiday together? It's all about them babies. However, people confirmed on October 27, 2016 that Kerry and Packer had been separated for a month, but a source close to the latter hinted that a reunion was possible, saying, James needed a break. Kerry went out with her friends at Nobu in Malibu after hearing the news, still wearing her $10 million ring. According to a source, the singer was with a group of friends. She had fun and sipped champagne. She was very dressed up, wore her engagement ring, and seemed in a great mood. She wanted to show James that she isn't sitting at home crying. She doesn't seem too concerned. The 35 carat diamond engagement ring James Packer gave her in 2018 has been sold by the pop diva two years after their breakup. According to a source, Kerry had one of her business managers secretly sell the diamond to a Los Angeles jeweler for $2.1 million. A confidentiality agreement was signed, but the jeweler is currently selling it, and there's only one such ring. Mariah Carey's public relations people are desperately trying to keep the story from the press and have threatened a jeweler with litigation if he discloses her name, the source added. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.